The city of Columbus and the Short North Alliance want to make getting in and out of the popular nightlife area a little bit easier. And that's why they've teamed up with Uber and Lyft for a pilot program launching tonight that will bring changes to anyone ride sharing to or from the area. NBC4's Alan Henry is live in the Short North for us now. Alan, what's changing and why? Well, Jen, just moments ago, these signs just went up all across the Short North. Starting tonight, if you're riding an Uber or Lyft into or out of the short north, you'll have to arrive or leave at one of these bus stops. Gone are the days of getting picked up maybe precisely at your location. If you've ever called an Uber or Lyft late at night in the short north, you know how difficult and potentially dangerous that process can be. You know, right now they're deployed to a very specific location, um, which increases traffic congestion. So we have a lot of vehicles just sitting in traffic. We have a lot of riders who um, may jaywalk across the street to get to their ride. Anytime you're um, exiting a vehicle into oncoming traffic, that's not safe no matter where you're at. So if we can create a safe zone where people can exit and enter vehicles, um, you know, safely, that's what we want to do. And that's why the city and Short North Alliance have teamed up with Uber and Lyft. Rideshare users coming to or leaving the short north after 10 p.m. Thursday through Sunday will now have eight options for where they can be picked up or dropped off. So the whole short north arts district um, is geofenced. So anytime a um, rider is requesting a ride within that geofenced area, they will actually be prompted to select their preferred zone. So say you are, you know, down at Third Avenue, but you want to get picked up over at first, um, you can select the actual pickup location. Those eight zones are actually Coda bus stops which aren't in service at those times. As part of this pilot program, the city will see if using these bus stops as rideshare stops is a concept that could potentially work for other parts of the city. Right now those bus stops are yep. anywhere from I think 120 to 150 feet. So we can fit multiple cars in those spaces. So ideally, as long as that turnover remains quick and passengers are there, um, so as soon as their ride pulls up, they jump in and go. Hopefully things will keep moving consistently, but it's definitely something that we'll monitor. Now the pilot program will run through October 15. I'm told the city will then stop, then reassess and then decide if this program should come to other neighborhoods. I'm told the University District in East Franklinton are just two that are already be being considered for this program. Local for you in the short North Allen Henry, NBC4.